Well, you'll need two cups of freshly grated carrots, and these make the best homemade carrot muffins. Uh, they're spicy, and they are really, really good. I like them for breakfast with a cup of tea. Children love eating them when they get home from school. And the recipe is sort of clever because you can make the batter, put the batter into muffin papers like this, and then put the whole thing into the freezer, well wrapped of course, and you can pop them into the oven when you want fresh muffins. The recipe is from our January-February issue of Everyday Food. Whisk together two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of sugar, and if you use the whisk, you don't have to sift. This breaks up all the lumps. Two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. This is a spice that you can make yourself. It's a mixture of cinnamon, cloves, ginger, nutmeg, and allspice. Two teaspoons of baking powder. And make sure you have fresh baking powder. And three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda because we're using a little bit of yogurt in this recipe. And, oh, don't forget, half a teaspoon of salt. And whisk this up. And in a separate bowl, whisk together one and a quarter cups of yogurt. I like, when I bake, to use plain, regular yogurt. If you're on a diet, you can use low fat. Uh, if you happen to have vanilla yogurt, you could use that. But I like plain yogurt. Why glop it up with anything else? So we need one and a quarter cups for tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. We've already melted it. And two large eggs. You can break the eggs into a separate bowl first just to make sure they're okay. So every now and then you might get a bad egg. If you're worried about that, break your eggs first, then add all the other ingredients because that bad egg can ruin a cake. So mix this all up together like that. And then add this to your flour. Just make a well right there. And pour all your liquid ingredients in. You can stir it with a spoon or a spatula or whatever. Isn't it nice to make muffins by hand? So it's a nice, rich batter. Now add your carrots, so it's two cups. If you have a food processor, you can grate your carrots very, very quickly in the food processor. And if you're making a lot of muffins, uh, that might help you a lot. But this has such a nice texture with the hand-grated carrots. Carrots are high in vitamin A, beta carotene, uh, very nice. And they add a lot of fiber to these muffins. You could add a little bran to the muffins if you want. And this is a good yogurt-based recipe, which you can add other things so you could turn this, just change the carrots to zucchini, delicious. Mashed bananas, delicious. And so now you spoon or scoop the batter into your prepared muffin tins. Now I like cooking in the paper because each muffin is individual. You don't really mess up your pans. You have less cleanup and this Recipe makes 12 lovely muffins. This scoop is about a third of a cup in size. And if you want to bake these immediately because your family is standing around looking at you with their mouths watering, uh, preheat your oven to 375 and bake them until they are a nice golden brown on the top, about 20 to 25 minutes if they're not frozen. And if they're frozen, bake them for about 35 minutes in a preheated oven. So I'm gonna put one pan of muffins into the oven, 375, and the other, because I can't wait to have them, and the other pan I'm going to put into the freezer just till they get hard, and as soon as they are, I'm gonna wrap them really well 
And so tomorrow I can have muffins again and I don't have to go through the process. My thanks again to Bill Cosby for stopping by to entertain us. He is so great, isn't he? And for reminding us that we are what we eat. By keeping your meals and snacks nutritious, you're helping your family stay healthy as well. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you tomorrow.